easy, easy, hard, hard, popular, popular, fun, fun, cycling, cycling. One. Listen and number one to six. Then sing. Sports. I like ice skating because it's fun, and I love playing tennis <laughs> because I'm number one. I enjoy swimming and cycling too. They're both very easy. You can do them too. Hate doing gymnastics. It's very boring. But I love playing football, especially when I'm scoring. I like ice skating because it's fun, and I love playing tennis <laughs> because I'm number one. I enjoy swimming and cycling too. They're both very easy. You can do them too. I hate doing gymnastics. It's very boring. But I love playing football, especially when I'm scoring. Three. Look and say. I like playing basketball because it's fun. I hate playing basketball because it's hard. Race. Race. Javelin. Javelin. High jump. High jump. Champion, champion. One. Who's the javelin champion? Listen and read. It's sports day at school. The children are outside doing different sports. I love sports day. I don't like sports day. This is the easiest race of all. Wow! She's the best high jumper in our school. I'm not good at the high jump. Oh. Carlos is the strongest boy in the school. Greg is better than me. 
Yeah, I'm the javelin champion. It's sports day at school. The children are outside doing different sports. I love sports day. I don't like sports day. This is the easiest race of all. Wow! She's the best high jumper in our school. I'm not good at the high jump. Carlos is the strongest boy in the school. Craig is better than me. Yeah, I'm the javelin champion. Listen and tick. One. Who's the best high jumper? Welcome, Tina and Brad. You are both high jumpers. Yes. And Tina, are you a better high jumper than Brad? Yes, I am. She's the best high jumper in the school. Two. Who's the worst? At throwing the javelin. What other sports can you do, Brad? Well, I can throw the javelin. He's the javelin champion. I can't throw the javelin far. Three. Which sport is easier for Tina? So, Tina, which sport is easier for you, running or the high jump? Well. I like watching people running, but I can't run very fast. And for me, the high jump is easier than running. One. Who's the best high jumper? Welcome, Tina and Brad. You are both high jumpers. Yes. And Tina. Are you a better high jumper than Brad? Yes, I am. She's the best high jumper in the school. Two. Who's the worst at throwing the javelin? What other sports can you do, Brad? Well, I can throw the javelin. He's the javelin champion. I can't throw the javelin far. Three. Which sport is easier for Tina? So Tina, which sport is easier for you, running or the high jump? Well, I like watching people running, but I can't run very fast, and for me the high jump is easier than running. Five. Play the memory game. She's the best high jumper. Is it Stella? Yes, that's right. Bat. Bat. Net. Net. Ice hockey, ice hockey, cricket, cricket, knee pad, knee pad,
One. What are the most popular sports in China, Russia, and Australia? Listen and read. P E. Which is the most popular sport in your country? Hello, my name's Nuqia Li, and I'm from China. Table tennis is one of the most popular sports in my country. You play the game on a table with a net. Two or four players hit a ball back and forth with bats. My brother thinks that it's one of the most boring sports in the world, but I think that it's a lot of fun. Hi, my name's Natasha, and I'm from Russia. One of the most popular sports in my country is ice hockey. You play this sport on a hockey rink. There are six players in each team, and they all wear skates, gloves, helmets, and knee pads. They use sticks to play the game. I think that it's the most exciting sport in the world. Hello, my name's Neil, and I'm from Australia. One of the most popular sports in my country is cricket. In a cricket match, there are two teams. Each team has got eleven players. They wear gloves, helmets, and pads, and they use a bat to hit the ball. I think cricket is the most interesting sport of all. Three. Listen and match. Hey Jeff, look at this. I got it from the sports centre. Now we can choose a sport to do. There are so many different sports lessons. They have basketball, table tennis, hockey, and football lessons. Wait a minute. They also have swimming, diving, gymnastics, and karate lessons. Oh, and cricket lessons too. Cricket lessons? That's what I want to do. Yes, but cricket is a little difficult. It's difficult, but it's not as difficult as gymnastics. Gymnastics is the most difficult of all these sports. You're right. Let's see. What about football? I like football. It's the most popular sport in the world. It is. But I don't really like football. What about hockey? Hockey? That's dangerous. Yes, it is. But karate is more dangerous than hockey. You're right. Karate is the most dangerous of all these sports. So, what are we going to do? Hey, we both like basketball, right? I think it's the easiest sport for us, and we can play every day. That's perfect. Listen and match. Hey Jeff, look at this. I got it from the sports center. Now we can choose a sport to do. There are so many different sports lessons. They have basketball, table tennis, hockey, and football lessons. Wait a minute. They also have swimming, diving, 
gymnastics and karate lessons. Oh, and cricket lessons too. Cricket lessons? That's what I want to do. Yes, but cricket is a little difficult. It's difficult, but it's not as difficult as gymnastics. Gymnastics is the most difficult of all these sports. You're right. Let's see. What about football? I like football. It's the most popular sport in the world. It is, but I don't really like football. What about hockey? Hockey? That's dangerous. Yes, it is. But karate is more dangerous than hockey. You're right. Karate is the most dangerous of all these sports. So, what are we going to do? Hey, we both like basketball, right? I think it's the easiest sport for us, and we can play every day. That's perfect. Four. Think about sports. Ask and answer questions. Which is the most exciting sport? I think tennis is the most exciting sport. Module nine. Let's play. One. Read and write V G. Very good. G. Good. Or N V G. Not very good. About you. Then ask your friend. Are you good at basketball? No, I'm not very good at basketball. Talk about your friend. Lucy is not very good at basketball. She's good at running. Module nine. Project one. Who's Zara's favourite athlete? Listen and read. My favourite athlete. My favourite athlete is Nicole David. She is a famous Malaysian squash player. Her nickname is Duracell Bunny because she's very good at moving fast around the court. Nicole began winning international championships when she was only 13 years old. I think she is the best squash player in the world. Module 9. Story Time. Tiny and Leo. Part 2. 1. Did Tiny help Leo? Listen and read. Please don't eat me, said Tiny. I'm not going to eat you, little mouse, Leo said. Leo carried Tiny and his mango home. Thank you for helping me. I'm going to help you too one day, said Tiny, and he waved goodbye to Leo. How can the smallest mouse in the forest help me? Leo said as he walked away. The next day was the lion race. 
Leo ran in the race and won. He was the fastest lion in the forest and the new champion. After the race, Leo was very thirsty, so he went to the river to drink some water. Two lion hunters were behind a big tree. That's the fastest lion in the forest and the most difficult to catch. I'm going to catch it with this net, said one of the hunters. The hunters tied the net to the tree and left. Leo was very tired. He walked to the big tree to rest. Leo didn't see the hunter's net. He got caught in it. Help! Help! He shouted. Tiny heard Leo shouting and ran to help. Tiny saw Leo in the net. I'm small, but I can help you. I'm very good at climbing. Tiny climbed to the top of the net and cut the rope with his teeth. Leo was free. Thank you, Leo said, and the two best friends walked into the forest together. Don't eat me, said Tiny. I'm not going to eat you, little mouse, Leo said. Leo carried Tiny and his mango home. Thank you for helping me. I'm going to help you too one day, said Tiny, and he waved goodbye to Leo. How can the smallest mouse in the forest help me, Leo said as he walked away. The next day was the lion race. Leo ran in the race and won. He was the fastest lion in the forest and the new champion. After the race, Leo was very thirsty, so he went to the river to drink some water. Two lion hunters were behind a big tree. That's the fastest lion in the forest and the most difficult to catch. I'm going to catch it with this net, said one of the hunters. The hunters tied the net to the tree and left. Leo was very tired. He walked to the big tree to rest. Leo didn't see the hunter's net. He got caught in it. Help! Help! He shouted. Tiny heard Leo shouting and ran to help. Tiny saw Leo in the net. I'm small. But I can help you. I'm very good at climbing. Tiny climbed to the top of the net and cut the rope with his teeth. Leo was free. Thank you, Leo said. And the two best friends walked into the forest together. Revision 9. 2. Listen and number 1 to 4. One. It's one of the most dangerous sports in the world. Two teams play this sport. Each team has got six players. The players wear helmets, gloves and pads, and they play this sport on ice. Two. Two teams play this sport. Each team has got six players, and they stand on each side of the net. The players need a big white ball to play. They play this sport on the beach, too. 3. It's one of the most interesting sports. Two teams play this sport. Each team has got 11 players. The players wear helmets, gloves and pads. They use a bat to hit the ball. 
Four. You do this sport in a pool. You can do it alone or with other people. You have to wear a bathing suit and a special cap for this sport. Revision nine. Two. Listen and number one to four. One. It's one of the most dangerous sports in the world. Two teams play this sport. Each team has got six players. The players wear helmets, gloves, and pads, and they play this sport on ice. Two. Two teams play this sport. Each team has got six players, and they stand on each side of the net. The players need a big white ball to play. They play this sport on the beach too. Three. It's one of the most interesting sports. Two teams play this sport. Each team has got eleven players. The players wear helmets, gloves, and pads. They use a bat to hit the ball. Four. You do this sport in a pool. You can do it alone or with other people. You have to wear a bathing suit and a special cap for this sport.